Pulled from the icy Des Moines River, a man is recovering in the hospital right now after firefighters saved his life. Tonight, one of the rescuers says he's glad everything happened as quickly as it did because the outcome could have been much different. Treading water and clinging to chunks of ice, this man struggled to keep his head above the freezing water of the Des Moines River. When the Des Moines Water Rescue Team arrived to bring him a boat, one rescuer even fell through the ice in an attempt to get to him. And when they eventually reached him, they knew they had to act fast. I'm sure, he was really cold. It had to be cold, and moving water is worse than standing water. Corey Camito is the firefighter in the yellow wetsuit you see here on the right, one of the few rescuers who risked their lives by going into the icy river to help this man. They struggled to pull the man to shore, and at times he even resisted. When hypothermia sets in, I, I don't think your brain really works right. So I, he grabbed a hold of the boat. We were trying to tell him to let go of the boat. He wouldn't. As if the freezing cold water wasn't a big enough challenge, the ice made things even more difficult. We had to break through the ice, you know, with our hands to get through. It wouldn't hold us. Several minutes later, they finally made it to shore. By that time, authorities estimate the man had been in the water 15 minutes. Had it been much longer, they believe he wouldn't have survived. I guess you didn't really think about how difficult it was while you were doing it. Now this humble firefighter, a man of very few words, is grateful it all worked out the way it did. We're glad to be able to do our job and help help somebody in need. And authorities don't know exactly how this man ended up in the water. He is recovering tonight in a local hospital. His name and condition have not been released. And you can also see raw video of the entire rescue online at KCCI.com.